put some highlights for you because I want you to see how this guy plays. And, and tell me what you think. Some of you may know him, some of you may not know him. Uh, so it, at the end of the day, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, these are the highlights for Calvin Phillips, according to the Northern Echo. Due to financial constraints, the Magpies will be cautious in their transfer activity during the forthcoming window. However, head coach Eddie Howe has pinpointed the defensive midfielder position as an area for reinforcement. Uh, having Bruno Guimaraes, having Tonali in a sense, we'll see how this goes. Now, this rumor just came out today, so that Calvin Phillips might be a suitable uh, player for Newcastle. This came out today, meaning, is this rumor out? Was this rumor pushed because of what's happening with Tonali? You know, I'm just asking. I, ha I have the right to ask questions. Uh, Calvin Phillips, a really nice player, really nice midfielder. According to uh, one football, Eddie Howe has pinpointed this guy to be is a defensive midfielder. It's an area that we need to reinforce. I mean, again, we have Gimaraes and Tonali I can, that I can think of that are starters, immediate uh, guys that come to mind. Of course, Tonali and Gimaraes are playing right now or you know can play next to each other. So with Tonali with more 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 freedom and so it could be could be an option of course this guy has been playing for England uh Calvin Phillips been playing for England they've been playing for Manchester City obviously not hasn't had as much luck as he would like with uh City of course you know a guy with a lot of talent you know 27 years old so he does have he should have some maturity uh, guys from Leeds etc really nice player in my opinion you know he joined uh, city in 2022 and really couldn't get his stuff together uh to fit in but then again i will be honest with you if you don't if you're not a top name i mean you got rodri you got all those players you, you, you're not gonna play uh for for city right pep is not gonna put you in so i think that this could be it just because he doesn't play him doesn't mean that he is not good enough so i think that I do like it. Um, we have to see why Newcastle will do this. If they're doing it for the right reasons, I think he is a worthy player, to say the least. Um, nice, nice player. And so doesn't uh, have a lot of great right there. We see him playing against Newcastle right there against uh, Maximum. He is a really good defender, really good passer and uh not doesn't have the greatest creative mind per se but he does have what it takes to be a great defensive midfielder right there against united i believe that's uh or who's that anyways oh yeah see right there against arsenal i mean just taking taking that ball away i mean really really nice interesting player i mean you know i i, I wouldn't mind him i wouldn't mind him now a guy like that would come to newcastle thinking he's going to be the starter so could we guarantee that he would be a starter? Uh, how how could we have that midfield? You know, how could that midfield play? Could he be a starter? Gimarai is a little bit ahead of him. With Tonali ahead of him, is Tonali playing back at all until this is all solved? What is exactly going on with with the situation? I mean, remember you got Longstaff, who is a midfielder that that plays there. Um, and you got Harvey Barnes. You got. A lot of players right there we'll see how this develops i mean i'm not exactly sure how he would fit in it, the reason why i say that is because he would want to be a starter right he would want to be he, he would definitely wants to be a starter so yeah, i'm a little i'm a little uh iffy right there as far as how he he'll fit but again a nice name played for he's still playing for the england international team which is a, an add-on 29 appearances one goal uh you know i think uh well the goals don't matter really he's a defensive midfielder so it doesn't matter but at the end of the day he's somebody that you can see you can see a lot of future even though he is he is 27 so he's not the youngest cat in the squad so that's what i got as far as a future a potential signing